For our first one, not using parchment paper. Just using oil will create a real hassle later when it comes to taking out your brownies. We will make a typical recipe of brownies and go through the mistakes as we encounter them. To start, we are going to add two cups of sugar and a half cup of brown sugar to a large mixing bowl. Then, two teaspoons of kosher salt. Don't think salt is just a minor part of the recipe. Salt is very important to bring out all the flavors. Next, in our mixing bowl, we will add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. If you prefer to use natural vanilla bean, that will definitely enhance its flavor. After that, we will add six eggs. Eggs are not just some random ingredient added instead of a different liquid. Eggs are actually a combiner which helps make a cohesive batter. If you are a home baker or like to bake in general, and are interested in making more recipes like this, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos coming out. Using a hand mixer, mix until light and fluffy around 10 minutes. For our chocolate, we are going to use a combination of cocoa powder and semi-sweet chocolate. Start by roughly chopping 8 ounces of semi-sweet or if you prefer, bittersweet chocolate. Add it into a glass measuring cup or a small mixing bowl. The second mistake you might be making is not adding coffee. In every recipe that you add chocolate, you gotta put some coffee. The coffee adds a very rich depth of flavor. So to our chocolate, we will add one tablespoon of espresso powder. Over medium heat in a saucepan, add two and a half sticks of unsalted butter and cook until the butter just comes to a vigorous simmer. This is our third mistake many make. Don't use vegetable oil. Butter will give it a nice chewy inside but vegetable oil will give it a fruity taste to a brownie that we are trying to focus on the chocolatey taste. Pour the melted butter into the chocolate and espresso mixture. We will follow that up by adding a fourth cup of cocoa powder to our chocolate espresso mix until the raw cocoa powder disappears. Pour that all into the batter and give it a good mix together. For the structural aspect of our batter, we are going to add one cup of all-purpose flour and a half cup of cocoa powder. And then mix together until ribbons form off of the whisk. In our parchment lined baking sheet, pour in the batter and spread it out to make an even layer. The fourth mistake many make is not putting in the refrigerator. Place it in the refrigerator for a couple hours to enhance its flavor. Then bake in an oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. This leads us to our fifth mistake. After baking for 20 minutes, take your brownies out of the oven and lightly drop the pan on a flat surface one to two times until the brownies deflate slightly and then bake for the last 20 minutes. Bringing us to our final mistake. Do not over bake the brownies. They are meant to be fudgy. They will continue to set when they come out of the oven. There's a difference between raw and fudgy. Make sure they're fudgy. If you like this video, then make sure to watch this video on how to make no need three ingredient bread at home.